Hi, it's been a long time, but thank you so much for being a supportive with me in this YouTube channel. So, welcome back again to my channel. And for today's video, we will be talking about the Lipschitz functions that will be used in differential equations. <music> Okay, so let's start now. Let's start to here with the first definition. A vector-valued function, and we denote this ve vector-valued function here, and this function is said to be Lipschitz condition. So magkakaroon siya ng Lipschitz condition in a region R in an xt space if for some constant L, this one here, we have this inequality satisfied. Kapag i-relate -re natin siya into a differential equation, di ba lumalabas ito for uniqueness and existence theorem, magkakaroon tayo ng x, y, let's say 1 minus f of x, y2, less than or equal to L, y1 minus y2. So parang ganun. So ito talaga yung reflection ng ating Lipschitz conditions. Whenever this space is inside the region R. Okay, so we have this lemma and we will apply this lemma in order for us to identify the Lipschitz conditions in our differential equation. So first is, given that you have a vector of valued function, this one, and this vector valued function has a continuous partial derivative. So, bali ko kunin natin yung partial derivative niya. And this partial derivative of this vector valued function with respect to x sub j is continuous on a bounded domain R. So, bali magkakaroon tayo ng R, which is a bounded domain. Then, kapag continuous siya, automatically nagsasatisfy siya ng Lipschitz condition. So let's have an example here. So let's say our vector valued function, this one is equal to x squared plus 1 over x times t. We will have to determine whether this function satisfies the Lipschitz condition in the domain. So first domain, check natin kung totoo to. The domain, our r1 is, let's say, our rectangular domain is 1, 2, cross, 0, 1. Okay. So let's double check this. Obvious naman, di ba? This one is magkakaroon tayo ng differentiability. It is continuously differentiable on the bounded domain na this domain here. Kasi kung pa titingnan mo, yung domain mo dito is with respect to the, fir the, the, the set x, ito siya. And to the second set, ito siya. So bali, basically, if you draw a graph, bali pa, kunyari, ito yung 1, ito yung 2. So, pag ganun yung domain mo, and then 0, 1, so basically ganyan, kunyari dyan, so mga ganun. So, eto lang pala yung region mo. Ayan. If we are actually concerning about this equation, expression rather, wala tayong problema kasi yung x mo, dito lang siya magre-range eh. So, therefore, this vector valued function is continuous. Kayo ng bahala, hindi na siya naka-formal. And so, it satisfies the Lipschitz condition on this region. That's it. Okay, let's try region 2. So, kunyari, yung region 2 natin is 1, 2, cross, close interval, 0, 1. What does it mean? Kung titingnan nyo, guys, kung idodrawing natin ulit, kunyari, palakihin ko siya, ha? Let's say this is 1, this is 2, and then this is 0, this is 1. So, bali yung region mo pa ganun, no? Kanina. Pa ganyan. Eh, ang sabi, eh, eto kasi, this is open. So, ibig sabihin, eto yung region niya, no? Pa ganyan. Hindi siya nakaklose. So, which means, our R2 is a subset of R1. So, dahil sabi natin that this equation satisfies the Lipschitz on the region of R1, ibig sabihin, this also satisfies on the region of R2. So therefore, this one satisfies. Okay, let's go to number 3 region. Let's say this one. 1, 2, cross, 0, infinity. So kung titingnan mo, this is no longer bounded. Yan, hindi na siya bounded. So, kasi nakapapunta na siya sa infinity. 
So let's base on the theorem. Ang importante talaga, let's double check on what is transpired by our lemma or our, uh, or our theorem. Ang sabi kasi niya, this vector-valued function has continuous partial derivatives on a bounded closed domain. However, in this case, hindi kasi ito bounded eh. So in other words, hindi natin pwedeng i-apply yung lemma na yan. So mangyayari, we have to do the computation manually. So since, so kayo nang bahala explain dyan ha. Okay, I, I'll have to do it by draft na lang. This one minus this. So that means we, we get two points x and y on our region. And uh, this one over x, y. So, di ba this, kapag ipa-plug in ko siya dyan, uh, remember, this is our function. Yan. So, pag ipa-plug in ko yung x dyan, ang lalabas, eto. Tama? So, I would get, ano yun? Um, that is x squared plus 1 over x. So, I have x squared plus 1 over x times t minus y squared plus 1 over y times t. Ganyan. All over the absolute value of x minus y. Okay. So, bali nagpa-plug in lang ako dyan, ha? And so, what happens next? Di ba ang mangyayari dito, our denominator is xy, so we will have x squared y plus y, meron pa yung t ha, t minus um, xy squared plus xt, tama ba? Ganyan, all over x minus y, ganyan. Ay, this, because, this has t pala. So, ibig sabihin, kung pwede kong ipang simplify lahat, so you have to do it by algebraic manipulation na lang ha, kayo na lang ha. Pag manipulate ko yan, ang lalabas, this is xy minus 1 over uh, xy. Tapos, mayroon kang times t dyan. Okay? And remember, uh, this is positive kasi naka-absolute value naman siya eh. So, in other words, this is greater than just t. Tama? So, dahil it's greater than just t, and um, ang sabi kasi dito, di ba, ang kwenento dito is that your function is given by this. So, this one approaches infinity as t approaches infinity. So, kapag mag-approach sa infinity, there is no such L. There does not exist, exist such L. Kasi ang mangyayari, pag nag approach sa infinity, hindi ka makakahanap ng any value of L that is independent of X, the Y, and the T itself. Such that, yung hinahanapan mo sana is magiging ganito. Ganyan. So, dahil hindi mo siya masasatisfy ng ganyan, ibig sabihin, X is not Lipschitz. Kasi wala kang makahanap na value ni LA. That's it. Okay, how about given on a region, let's say R4, and then our R4 is 1 positive to a positive infinity cross 0 to T. So, ibig sabihin, you're looking for the Lipschitz conditions at which yung interval mo is, let's say, dito ang 1. So, it goes like that, pag anon. And then, from 0 to T. Kunyari, ito yung T mo. So, ibig sabihin, yung region mo, pag anon, no? So, pag ganito yung region mo. So, hahanapan mo yung uniqueness and existence of a solution of a differential equation. So, for now, we will have to justify if it satisfies the Lipschitz condition mo na. Pero dahil alam natin that this is not bounded, hindi natin magagamit yung lemma na yun. So, what are we gonna do with that? Uh, we will have to let xt and our yt be in R4. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo ng eto. Kasi kailangan natin masatisfy yung diba. Dapat yung ending natin mali less than kasi siya ng any constant eh. So, minus x yt. Yan. Pero alam natin for a fact that 
given by this x t, so ibig sabihin, this is equal to x y minus 1. Nasold na natin to kanina, di ba? That's x y times t times x minus y. Yan. Okay. So, paano natin to lalaruin, guys? Pwede ko ba itong gawin? Um, this is equal to 1 minus 1 over xy. So, bali, ano siya? Dinidistribute ko siya. So, xy over xy. So, 1 negative which or minus 1 over xy. Okay. So, that's t times x minus y. Okay. Know for a fact that uh, this one is... Kasi ang sabi natin, balik nga tayo sa for, uh, function, kung paano dinefine yung function, xt. So, ibig sabihin, this is a real-valued function, or a, I'm sorry, a vector-valued function sa region, so in, on the xt space. And your xt space is in the region, r. So, r to siya dapat. Uh, so, yeah, r to dapat. So, ibig sabihin, Yung t mo pala is nasa sa loob mismo dito. But remember, this is the bound of capital T. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki si capital T. So, that means, ipapalitan ko yan ng capital T. This is less than or equal to, ganyan, 1 minus 1 over xy, t, x minus y. Okay. And so, this one is technically, mas maliit siya in, by 1. Alam natin less than 1 siya eh. Kasi kung titignan mo, this is positive. So 1 minus this positive value, bika magliliit siya. So ibig sabihin, kapag tatanggalin ko yan, this is lalong tataas siya. So ibig sabihin, t, this is less than or equal to t times x minus y. Okay. So t, so ang t natin dito, di ba, it's the bound of our region. So dahil bound siya ng region, ibig sabihin, it's a real number. So it's a constant. So therefore, if we take t equals l, so ibig sabihin, ang mangyayari dyan, we would have x of x t minus x of y t that's less than or equal to l x of y. So di ba ito yung itsura ng Lipschitz condition? So therefore, our x is a Lipschitz function on R4. That's it. Okay, last region. Let's say our region R5 is equal to 0, 1 cross 0, 1. Okay, so we have the open interval and the closed interval. Again, it's still not a closed region, so hindi natin pwedeng i-apply ang lemma. Pero alam natin that ano nga yung function natin? X of xt that's equal to x squared plus 1 over x times t. So, alam natin that this is differentiable, continuously differentiable, kasi hindi kasali si 0 dito sa region e. So, ibig sabihin, wala tayong problema kung, kung papalitan niya ng 0 kasi hindi naman yan pwedeng palitan because it's not in this interval. So, our x is continuous, continuously differentiable in R with ang partial ni x, x, t with respect to your x is actually the x squared minus 1 all over x squared t. Yan. So, alam natin to. This is the partial derivative with respect to x. Pero kung titingnan mo, this is no longer bounded. But this partial of x, x t with respect to x is no longer bounded when t is 0. Okay. Since, ano mangyayari when t is 0? Sige nga, this one. Diba this goes to infinity whenever x goes to 0? So yung limit niya, tama? And your t is not 0. So in this case, we take, say, x equals 1 over n. And then our y is equal to 2 over n. And our t is equal to 1. So, ang mangyayari, x of x t minus x of y t. Dahil alam natin that x of x t, y of y t is, ano nga yun? Yung kanina, na-solve natin on the other region. Ang lalabas nila is, eto, di ba? 
Yan. So kapag ipa-plug in natin yan, magkakaroon tayo ng n squared over 2 minus 1. Um, that's for n greater than or equal to 2. Are we sure that this one is less than or equal to L for all N? So sure ba tayo dyan? May magsasatisfy ba? Obvi obviously hindi. Wala tayong makikita dito eh. Kasi this N is independent of L. So ibig sabihin, there does not exist L in R such that this N squared over 2 minus 1 is less than or equal to R, L. So therefore, our x is not tip sheets. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.